So welcome to week one of the exercises and uh, we're going to be trying to create a different motion graphics animations using geometry nodes for this week. So Apple just released a new iMac. I just loved their motion graphics. That's what we're going to be recreating. So let's look at it. You can see they start out with the logo and then they add in more letters, the logo rotates and uh, it kind of forms the apple and then we transition into this. So let's see how to set up that. Uh, the first thing we want to do is uh, create a text like this and uh, let me show you how quickly you can do that. So I'm just going to open up a new blend file here. Just take a screenshot of, of the hello and uh, the apple logo and then uh, this expanded one or you can just check out the project files they will include uh, screenshots and also a traced logo you might be tempted to use the text object and uh, use this font here i'm going to be leaving, leaving links to this as well if you want to use it this font is similar to what they are using but the issue with blender is that it just gives you this as a mesh instead of a spline if you look at this project what we're using is this so blender doesn't give you this stressed out logo like this just gives you this with a thickness and uh, there is no way to extract the path itself so you have to trace it directly turn off the grid for now you can go to the image setting or data settings and uh, just turn on opacity to reduce the brightness of this so that is easier to trace then i can add a curve object tab into edit mode change the type to vector by pressing v and selecting vector all you have to do now is just extrude these points and uh, place them where you think you need points. So I'm going to add one here, add one here, add them to the corner points, just like this. We are going to come back and uh, refine this curve. Just put them where you think these control points should be. So maybe there, uh, this, uh, this goes here, rotates here, here, and I think, makes a corner like that. So after you do that, you just press V again, and this time change to automatic so that these curves are changed. Now you can come in and start tricking one by one to make sure that it lines up with uh, how this should be. I think this is rotated. And uh, while you're doing this, you can go in geometry nodes. I'll go under geometry nodes, set up a new geometry nodes, and I uh, use a curve to mesh just like this and set up a curve as a profile, circle curve as a profile. Uh, let's use 16 and bring the radius down. We just want to see how this is going to look. If you look at this, it seems like uh, this is a bit like this. Uh, actually, it's the other way around. So this this has to be rotated can even go to top view and yeah, I think it's like that. And then just try and line things up. When you need more points, you can select two points and subdivide them so that you have a middle point just like that. And then now we have that. I think this is pushed out a bit. Now uh, this this tail here should be in the back. Be something I think is like that. So you can see to create this uh, this E, I think this is rotated on the Z. Yeah, so that you have this going on, and uh, now you can just move these control points until you get uh, the shape you want goes out a bit like that and then this loop goes in so this should be rotated on the Z just like that so we have something like that now we just have to correct uh, this and make sure that these line up so we have that uh, I'm going to skip this one because it's similar to this and uh, I'm going to show you how to duplicate the same shape so this is a bit in the back and uh, these come forward a bit 
you can make it as perfect as you want spend a little bit more time or in the status file you'll find this so this is going to be our starting point just put it aside as a duplicate and i can move it in a backup collection up just like that the next thing you want to remove the geometry nodes we want to make it so that this can be duplicated if you look at the apple version so we start with two l's and then we add one two three four so we want to add that functionality so first convert this to a mesh uh, that way we can i uh, uh, think can get rid of this and just make a copy of this it should be matching so i'm just going to fix uh, that like that you need to make sure that these are separated letters use v to separate this so that this is a, its own letter and uh, uh, i need this to be able to connect but uh, yeah, make sure that this is also its own letter and we're going to use shape keys to animate this so that we add more letters i'm going to use i'm going to use uh, uh, this is going to be the original shape and uh, we are adding four letters so i'm going to duplicate this shift d and uh, right click to move it back to position so that's one copy two three four and now, now i can create another shape key and for this so in the animation you can see everything moves apart or spreads out uh, so let's create a, a shape key for that so actually we need to line these up and uh, try to line things up so we're going to do move this and move all these letters here we have four letters we should be moved spaced accordingly so that's supposed to be i think we still have one ctrl l i'm using ctrl l and just to select everything so i'm going to move this in the shape keys we have this and we also have this now if we turn off relative we can animate these positions by just changing the evaluation time. Okay, so that's a snippet from my new Master Geometry Nodes course. As you can see, I'm going to keep updating it. The new iMac was just released a few hours and I saw the animation, it got me excited. So I jumped in and recorded uh, this for, for that course. But uh, I think I've given you the foundations to make this animation, even without watching the course. If you know a bit of Geometry Nodes and uh, uh, some Blender, you, you can be able to uh, just do the rest of, of the animation with without the course but uh, if you want to watch the entire lecture it's going to be in the new week one exercises uh, actually it's the first lecture in this week one exercises we're going to be making more that's it if you want to check it out links are going to be in the description you can get a 25 percent discount